Hi, I'm Becky and I'm here to show you uh, the Teddy Bear Outfit Templates set number two from Threaders. So as you can see from here, we've got some adorable outfits to put on your teddy bear or your um, animal. You've got a, um, a pet set of dungarees, and you've also got a waistcoat and a little pair of shorts. So let's get started. Once you open up the pack with your templates, this is what you're going to get. You've got two sheets of templates for the teddy bear's outfit number two. And you will see that everything is listed here. You've got the shapes of all of the patterns and you've got little gaps um, around the edge. This is for you to sort of use your pen um, to draw around, or you can of course use our mark away spray if you're gonna be using some darker fabric. So you're gonna be using these guidelines uh, to cut out your templates. Now in this one, not only do you have the waistcoat, the shorts and the dungarees, but we've also included a few extras, including dog ears, a little patch that you could use, um, a bone, cat ears, and also fish. So you can make those little accessories for your animals. You'll notice here you've got a line with a, an arrow on either end. This indicates the grain line of the fabric. So the grain line is um, keep back, keeping the fabric straight. So you'll notice that you'll want to be cutting everything straight um, with the grain line going upwards. Um, but we'll explain everything in our instruction booklet, which also comes with your templates. We've de detailed the information about how to cut out all of the shapes and whether you need to flip the templates on the other side or you're using them face up and whether you need to be cutting things out of lining fabric or out of fabric as well. You'll also see step-by-step -step instructions about how to construct the different outfits. So we're holding your hand every step of the way and you can make some really beautiful outfits for your new teddies. We're gonna start off by making the dungarees. So we're gonna cut two pieces of fabric um, which are, make the um, part of the dungarees and we're gonna pop them together, right sides together and we're gonna sew down this part here. So this, whilst it doesn't look like it, this is actually the, the center seam. And we're going to do two of those and then iron them out. So they will look like this once you've put the first one together. So you can see you've got the shape of the top of the dungarees up here. And then you've got the curve of the armhole and this forms the main part of the teddy bears. Um, dungarees. Then we're going to take a small piece of um, fabric which we've cut into a square and we have folded um, little um, seams on either side and we're just going to stitch along the top part of this and then this is going to be the pocket that goes on the front of the dungarees. Both the front and the top of the, the front of the back of the dungarees look exactly the same but one has the pocket. We've also cut out here, this is the um, interfacing for the dungarees. So if I show you the, the front of the dungarees here, you can see that this is almost exactly the same size or same shape as the top part. And that is going to be attached just here and sewn around right sides together. And it just gives a bit more structure to the top of the dungarees once we start putting it all together. You're also going to need two straps that go from the front of the dungarees to the back of the dungarees. And they are made from a piece of fabric um, which has been cut um, according to the template. And you're going to fold that over in half and make a crease. And then you're going to fold both of these raw edges inside to that crease just here, like so, and then fold that together like that. So just finger press it for the moment. But you also want to finish off one of the short edges and you do that in exactly the same way. So we would fold over like so and then fold again from the middle, the middle, the middle on this side as well and then fold across like this. This raw edge here won't be seen once you put the, the strap together and you're just gonna sew along this long side here. So here's one that we've done earlier. So we've put our interfacing. If, you, if I turn it around the other way, you can see how that's been put together. So that is the piece of interfacing that goes on the um, dungarees. And then we're gonna turn that inside out or the right way round. And you can see how that starts to form. So you've got a bit of structure here. 
um, on the dungarees. Uh, so this is the front of the dungarees and this is the back. So we've done exactly the same thing with the interfacing here, the other piece of fabric. And we've also attached the straps into here. So the straps, this is the raw edge of the straps um, that I showed you earlier on. So they are secured within these pieces of fabric within the outside of the dungarees and the interfacing. So now all we need to do is to put the dungarees together and then sew along this part here to attach those two and also along the side seams. So we're gonna put them right sides together And we're going to start pinning. So we're going to do the outside seams first of all, and then we're going to do the inside seam as well. Okay, we're going to start by sewing down the side seams. So we're using a normal um, seam allowance of a quarter of an inch and we're using a straight stitch just to stitch all the way down the side of that seam. So we did a couple of back stitches at the start, we'll do a couple of back stitches at the end. So we've done the side seams, now we're going to sew the inside seam. So we do it in the same way. We're going to pin it before we sew it. Now, but you've got a bit of a curve here. So when you're sewing, just go a little bit slower. Obviously on the straight parts, you can go a bit faster. Okay, we're gonna start by stitching on the inside seam. So again, we're using a quarter of an inch seam allowance, a couple of back stitches just to start off. And we're gonna go quite slowly here because we've got a curve coming up and we want to make sure we get nice shape to that curve. It's not a very deep curve but um, it's a curve nevertheless. And then as you get to the where the seams meet it um, might just need a little bit of feeding through. And so now we've sewn all around the edge of our dungarees. we're going to fold up at the bottom of the, the legs, we're going to fold up to make a little, um, little seam so it's got a nice finish to it. We'll fold it backwards. I'm use a couple of clips on this here and we'll sew around the edge. This is a little bit tricky to do because you are moving a very small piece of fabric through your sewing machine. So just be careful, make sure you don't get the other pieces of fabric caught underneath. And again, we're gonna go with a quarter of an inch seam allowance and just stitch around the hem of the dungaree legs. Just feeding that fabric through. Just trim your threads so it's nice and neat. And we're going to do exactly the same with the other side of the dungarees. And then we're going to pop some snap fasteners just here to secure the dungarees. So if you take your snap fasteners and your um, little tool for creating the holes. So I've used a piece of lino that I'm using here to make the hole, but you could use a coaster. Basically anything that you might want to um, use that's not going to get damaged. So you don't want to be using this to make a hole into the fabric and then going to, into your 
um, your table and turn it the other way round. I'm going to create one hole here and then one hole here. And then I'm going to choose the smallest snap fastener. And pop it through here. So I'm going through multiple layers of fabric. I've just pushed that through twice. And then I'm going to put that part of the snap fastener. I'm going to use this little um, metal dish. I'm going to place that part of the snap fastener. And I'm going to use this little tool, press it here, then give it a couple of bangs. And that secures that snap fastener part here. And then we want to place the other part just around about here. So I'm going to pop that, might make a mark with my pen just to make sure that they are completely even. So if I want that just about here, there you go there, and then there. And again, with my um, th th this little tool for making the holes, I'm going to press it down. I'm going to do it twice to go through all the fabric. And I'll do the other one over here. And I pop my um, little end on one side. And then this part here, and I'm going to use the other tool, which is a slightly rounder tool, and it just goes over that little um, popper, and I'm going to hit it again. And then that's secured, and we've got a place for the other snap fastener to go. After you've put your poppers on the dungarees, it's all finished and ready to pop onto your teddy bear. So we're going to start by making your waistcoat for your teddy bear. We start with the first piece of fabric, which is the back of the waistcoat. So you cut two of these, one out of lining fabric and one out of the main fabric. And then you're also going to cut a piece of the front out of the lining and this side out of the lining. But bear in mind, they're going, they're going to be sort of opposite sides. So do take that, that into consideration when you're putting it together. So we will start off by stitching together up here at this point um, on the shoulder blades. So you're just putting your, the right sides of your lining fabric and your main fabric together and sewing across here. Then you're going to take your two side pieces and you're going to attach them with a seam to the front parts of the waistcoat. So you can see here, we're gonna be stitching down these sides here to put them all together to make one whole piece. Once you've done that, you then need to stitch all the way around the edge. So you're sewing around the whole of the waistcoat and you're just leaving a little gap here to turn it out. So once you've finished that and you're so back and forth at the edges of this place here, you just need to open up your waistcoat and then feed it all through. Now this does take a little bit of time because as you can see, this part here is quite narrow. So this will take you a little bit of time just to feed everything through. Um, this is where having um, a chopstick um, or a pen is really, really useful. So we're just going to start pulling it through so you can see what that would look like. And you can see it's all sort of coming together. You want to um, make sure you get the little points out of the waistcoat. So you might want to use a pin just to pull those out to make them nice and sharp. So you can see this is the outside of the waistcoat. So there's a couple little 
bits that just need sort of pulling forward and give it a really good press. And then you want to fold this down and then hand finish it around the edge just to finish that little point off. So then when we put our waistcoat together, it will pull this bit up. You will, it will look like this. And so you've got your little um, shoulders seams over here. So you would stitch across here once that's open. If I show you one that I've already pressed, I've put this um, up and I've sit, sewn this seam across to put the waistcoat together. So you can see once it's been um, all pulled out and ironed, it's looking quite sharp. Now, the last thing that you need to do, because we're almost finished now, is put a little um, snap fastener here. So we're going to... If you hold the waistcoat like so, um, it folds over quite significantly if I put my finger underneath it. But we want, you know, your teddy bears are quite, tend to be quite chubby, so we want to open out a little bit. So we just want the snap fastener just to be on the very edge of that, so that actually the waistcoat becomes a little bit wider. So we're going to use um, our tools. So we've got the little item that makes the holes for the snap fastener. And I'm just going to decide where I'm going to put that, sh that marking. And I'm going to place it just here. So I'm using a heat erasable pen. And I'm going to pop the other side of the snap fastener just there. So I'm going to use this tool. And I'm using a piece of lino that I'm placing over the top um, or underneath my fabric. Um, and in between my um, table and my fabric, just to protect it. So I'll put that one there. And then make sure that's in the right place. Just there. Then I want my snap fastener, the smooth side, the finished edge, to be this one here. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to use the little silver disc that comes with the sap fastener tool. And I'm going to place that smooth edge, the part that you're going to see of the snap fastener, over there. Place it, a second piece of the snap fastener. And then use the tool that we've got in the kit. And give it a bang with a hammer. And then we're going to use the other part of the snap fastener to secure down here. I'm going to use a different tool. And then we are all finished with our little waistcoat to fit onto our little teddy. Now we're going to make the little shorts for your teddy bear. So we're going to be cutting two pieces of the front and two pieces of the rear of the shorts. So you can see they're slightly different shapes and this is to take into account the shape of the teddy bear's body. So we're going to cut two and I'm just using some plain fabric, again sewing with your quarter of an inch seam allowance and um, if you want to just sort of trim in um, around the curves. So what I've done here is I've already cut them out and I've already sewn them together here and also along the little legs on the inside seam. So we've now got the teddy bear shorts all attached together in the middle, but not attached around the outside. So we're going to finish those off by sewing down the side seams here. And I've also sewn up a little bit of a um, a hem at the very bottom of those and you can use a decorative stitch. Now on the very top here I've used a zigzag stitch just to finish it off because um, it, the, the fabric might, might fray and we're going to be folding this over so you can just use a zigzag stitch on your machine just to neaten those off or if you have an overlocker you can neaten them off with one of those. Then we're going to fold this down around about half an inch 
and we're going to sew around this to create a little bit of a channel for us to put some elastic through. So I'm just going to fold those over. And if you take your elastic and you just measure around your teddy bear's tummy, um, because obviously every teddy bear has a different size tummy, um, just make sure you've got the right size. And then we're just going to stitch around here. So I take a few pins just to make sure they're all, um, it's all nice and even. And we'll sew along to create this channel. Now we've stitched around the edge and we've got a little bit of a channel here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpick at the very edge of this seam just a little few stitches just here so I can open this up and then I can put through the elastic. So just be a little bit careful, just need to find the little space to put your elastic through. I've put a little not in the end of my elastic here, just to make it a little bit easier to thread it through. So you're just feeling and pulling it through so it goes all the way around the edge of this little valley that we've created, this little gully that's going around. And then turn your shorts the right way round and then they're ready to pop onto your little teddy bear. Okay, so here we are. We've all finished our dungarees, our waistcoat, and our little shorts, and we're ready to dress our teddy bears. So these are all templates that came from Teddy Bear Templates number two from Threaders. Ooh.